بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد We make shukar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us the opportunity to witness these Mubarak days ayyam. We make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq to witness many more of these Mubarak days, nights, months and spend our life in a part in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the poet says, Assalamu alayka ya shahr al-Qur'an Farewell, O month of the Qur'an Assalamu alayka ya shahr al-Maghfirah Farewell, O month of forgiveness. Assalamu alayka itq min al-niran. Farewell to the month where we could be saved and secure emancipation from the fire of Jahannam. Assalamu alayka ya ammar al-qulub. Farewell to the month which filled our hearts with the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alayka ya shahr kaffarat al-dhunub. Farewell to the month where we deleted and wiped out and erased all our sins. Assalamu alayka ya shahran fi laylatun hiya khayrun min alfi shahr. Farewell to the man that has a night more valuable than a thousand months. Al-wada, al-wada ya shahr Ramadan. Farewell, farewell alayka as-salam ya shahr Ramadan. Assalamu alayka ya shahr al-layali al-rahmati wa ghuffurani al-sayyat. Farewell to those days and nights of mercy and forgiveness. Assalamu alayka ya shahr al-sadaqati wal-zakati wal-siyami wal-salat. Farewell to the month of charity and zakah and fasting and salah. Assalamu alayka ya shahr al-tarawi wal-tasabih. Farewell to the month of tarawi and dhikr. Assalamu alayka ya shahr al-khayrati wal-barakat. Farewell to the month of blessings and barakah. Assalamu alayka ya shahr al-tahleel wal-takbir. Assalamu alayka ya khayr qabil istaqbalna. Farewell to the one who you are looking forward to meeting and seeing. Wa ya khayr al-rahilin wa musafirin anna wa da'ana. O traveller, you have come, we welcome you, but your time has come now to leave and depart. Al-Wada, Al-Wada, Ya Shahr Ramadan, Wa alayka as-salam, Ya Shahr Ramadan. Tashhadu lana am tashhadu alayna. Now that you are leaving, will you be a witness for us, for the good that we did, or a witness, a testimony against us for not fulfilling the hukuk and the rights of this month? أنت مسافر بالرحيل عنا وهذا آخر الأهد منك تعود علينا أم طارق الموت يأخذنا Is this our last meeting or will the angel of death knock on our door before you come again? يا شهر رمضان فيا غنيمة من كنت إليه بالبركات عائد ويا خيبة من كنت عليه بالزلات شاهد يا طال ما عمرت فيك مساجدنا You overwhelmed us with your nur and your barakat Our places of worship, our masajid were filled with you وأضاءت فيك مشاعلنا فالآن تنقطع التراويه عنا والآن تنطفئ المسابيه منا and now the lanterns are going to lose their lights. The flame will terminate. Now there will no more be that yearning. فَلَا أَذَانٌ يُنْتَذَرُوهُ إِلَى الْفُطُورِ That sound of the adhan to break the iftar. وَلَا نَجْمٌ يُرْتَقَبُ إِلَى السُّهُورِ or the end time of Sahri. Ya talama khamasat fika al-butun wa sahirat fika al-uyun. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Our stomachs laid bare and empty for you, O Ramadan. And our eyes teared for you, O Ramadan. We hope to see you again. So these are Mubarak ayyam. Mubarak nights. Let us turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us give more this last night. If it is the night of Eid, there's a lot of barakat and blessings and fadail.
مولانا عمل حسن افلاری سے لو یو لائف لائک رمضان یو ڈیتھ ول بی عید ویور لوز دیئر لائف اکارڈنگ ٹو دا رولز اف رمضان دین ڈیفینیٹلی دی انٹائٹل ٹو دا بلیسنگز اف عید وین دے ڈائی A person who is a foreigner in a certain country sends money back to his home country, buys a nice car, buys a nice property, builds a palace, etc. Now his place is ready. So the country he's staying is insignificant. As time goes by, six months left, four months left, one month left, he's not worried about his current residence, but he's anticipating shock for his actual abode. So the current house, even if the windows break, the doors fall down, he's not bothered. Why? Because he's prepared something. So thus, Ramadan was a preparation ground. One is the place of preparation. Like a military camp, there's a place of training, a training ground, and one is a place of implementation. So from the training ground, when there is war, then there's a place of implementation where uh, military soldiers are deployed, where there is a place of execution. Ramadan was our training ground and after Ramadan is now the deployment, the execution to see if we fulfill this and there's a difference if we fulfill this or not and there is a difference. In the training ground, worst if you make a mistake it can be tolerated in the battlefield, you go to the grave, no mistakes can be tolerated. In the training ground, you have your meals on time, you have your luxuries, your amenities. But in the battlefield, you need to abstain more. In the training ground, you don't need full armor and protection, the shayateen are tied up. But in the battlefield, the shayateen are loose. Now you need your full gear, the enemy is in front of you. In the training ground, there are spies inside Intel, moles, double agents, operatives, but it's not so serious. That's not so serious. In the battlefield, the Intel is very important. So that inside information, the nafs, in the nafs bisu, in the battlefield now after Ramadan, that nafs is going to come. The double agent is going to try to sabotage us. We need to be very particular about that. Number five, the terrain. In the training field, the terrain is not so serious. Why? Because that is just part of the training area. But in the battlefield, the terrain is very important. We need to study it, we need to have a plan, we need to have a strategy. Likewise, the environment, our terrain after Ramadan, the mahal of the masjid, the mahal of the home, the environment around us, this terrain needs to be more conducive to amal. And number six, expertise, the people around us. What category of people are around me? In a battlefield, either a person is in a category, he's in the Air Force, he's in the ground force, he's in the Navy, he's in the special forces. So your company around us, after Ramadan, we need to be particular and see how we can choose that company, that companionship that will take us closer to Allah and His Rasul. And we should not be overwhelmed by the mohal and the environment and the terrain and the people and the friends, etc. But we need to create a, such an environment that will overwhelm others. So, Batil evil will not affect us, we will affect Batil. They say there was three friends, they were scaffolders, and every day lunchtime they used to get together. So the first one opened his lunch, it was cheese, and he was in tears and he said, every day cheese, I'm tired of my wife, if tomorrow I get cheese again, I'm gonna jump from the scaffolding. The second one also opened his lunch box and what he found was salad sandwich. He said, I'm tired of the salad, I've had enough now, Tomorrow if I get salad, I'm going to jump down. The third person, he opened his lunchbox, he found jam sandwiches and said, if I get sandwiches again tomorrow, I'm also going to commit suicide. The next day, the first one came, he found cheese, he jumped. Second one found salad, he jumped. Third one came, found jam, he jumped. The coroner, when speaking to the wives, asked the first wife, she said, it's my fault, I never paid attention to my husband. The second one said, you know what, he did mention it here and there, but I thought so he was just choking. 
The third one said, I cannot believe it because every day he makes his own sandwich. Every day he makes his own sandwich. So we shouldn't be affected by our company, our friends, that it causes us, causes our destruction of the dunya and akhirat. The sign that these Mubarak Ayyam were accepted is, number one, we sustain this amal, it is perpetuated, we constant, persistent on this amal after Ramadan. We don't make salam to the amal of Ramadan. If a person says Subhanallah, Tawfiq is a sign of acceptance. We say that Subhanallah again, the sign that my Ramadan is accepted is I do it after Ramadan. And number two, make an intention not to ever go back to Masya. So we stop sin, we make an intention never to go back again. There shouldn't be an intention to return. Kaab used to say, Man sama Ramadan wa huwa yuhadithu, yuhadithu nafsa wa annahu idha aftara ba'da Ramadan, Allah ya'asillah dakhal al-jannah. We have fast Ramadan and he tells himself that after Ramadan, I make a firm intention. I'm determined never to go back to those amal which were perpetrated before Ramadan. Consider him a jannati. And if you see a person who is fasting in Ramadan, or you hadithu nafsahu, and he tells himself after Ramadan, Asa Rabbahu, he's going to go back to his bad habits, his old way of life. Fasiyamuhu alayhi mardud. His fasting is mardud. It is as if his fasting is, is rejected. So Eid is something different. As the Shaykh says, ليس العيد لمن لبس الجديد. Very new clothing is not Eid. إنما العيد لمن آمن بالوعيد. Those people whose Iman is strong and making effort on Iman in Akhirat, they should enjoy and they should rejoice for Eid. Eid is not for that person who has new clothing, but whoever لمن طاعته تزيد. Those who increase the amal, for them is Eid. Eid is not for those who buy new clothing, but whoever لمن أعتقه من العذاب الشديد for the person who frees himself from the severe punishment. وَلِمَنْ أَتْقَى ذَا الْعَرْشِ الْمَجِيدِ And whoever abstains from guna and get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَيْسَ الْعِيدِ لِمَنْ تَبَخَّرَ بِالْعُودِ Eid is for not that person who puts beautiful fragrances. إِنَّمَ الْعِيدِ لِمَنْ تَابَ وَلَا يَعُودِ But it's for that person who makes toba and doesn't ever go back to his guna. لَيْسَ الْعِيدِ لِمَنْ آنَسَ بِالْغِلْمَانِ it is for that dead person who played around in have fun and was involved in merrymaking. إِنَّمَ الْعِيدِ لِمَنْ آنَسَ بِالْقُرْآنِ It is for the person who was accustomed to the Qur'an. لَيْسَ الْعِيدِ لِمَنْ جَلَسَ الْبِسَاتِ It is for not that person who enjoyed the luxuries and the comforts and the version mats. إِنَّمَ الْعِيدِ لِمَنْ جَاوَزَ الصِّرَاتِ Eid for that person who secured cross in full sirat. ليس العيد لمن بنى القصور. Eid is for not that person who's got nice houses and comfortable homes and palaces. إنما العيد لمن جهز القبور. Eid is for that person who prepares for the قبر. ليس العيد لمن حرم رؤية الرحمن. Eid is not for that person who has been deprived of seeing Allah in these Mubarak days. إنما العيد لمن أحل رؤية المنان. It is for that person who's authorized, got the approval to find his Allah. ليس العيد لمن ركب المطايا. It is not for that person who's got nice, beautiful conveyances. إنما العيد لمن ترك الخطايا. For that person who has left كنا إن معصية. ليس العيد لمن أكل اللبة. Eid is not for that person who is enjoying beautiful, beautiful seven course meals and delicacies. إنما العيد لمن خشي ربه. Eid is for that person who fears Allah, who recognizes who is Allah is. So on the day of Eid, malaika come down, they stand on the access points of the roads. And they make Elan, Ya Ummat Muhammad, Akhriju ila Rabbi. Go to that Allah, Kareemin Yu'dil Jazeel. Allah is gonna grant graciously. Wa yaghfiru al-dhunub al-azim. The one that forgives great sins. Fa idha barazu ila musallahum. When they arrive at the musallah, 
Then the mala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the malaika. Ya malaikati, what is the reward for those who have rendered service? They say, Ya Allah, that you give him his reward and recompense. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inni ushidukum anni kajjaltu thawabahum min siyamim wa qiyabim wa rawai wa mafariti. My forgiveness and my pleasure is their reward. In sarifu maghfuran lakum. Leave now, I have forgiven you. لا تسألوني اليوم شيئا إلا أعطيتكم. Ask from me today, I will give you whatever you want. فتفرح الملا فتفرح الملائكة بما يعطي الله هذه الأمة إذا أفطروا. The ملائكة become happy when they see what Allah سبحانه وتعالى gives them. So we should be concerned about قبول يا تزا علي رجلا شيء. كونوا لقبول الأعمال أشد اهتماما منكم بالعمل. More particular you are than the amal is the qabuliyat. Have you not heard Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, إِنَّمَا يَتَقَبَّلُ اللَّهُ مِنَ الْمُتَّقِينَ Allah accepts from the muttaqeen. Fudala bin Ubay just to say, لَنْ أَكُونَ أَعْلَمُ أَنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ تَقَبَّلَ مِنَّ مِثْقَالَ حَبَّةٍ مِنْ خَرْذَلٍ If I know even an atom's amount was accepted by Allah, أَحَبُّ إِلَيَّ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا فِيهَا is more beloved to me than the dunya and whatever is in it. Have you not heard Allah saying, إِنَّمَا يَتَقَبَّلُ اللَّهُ So we should be particular. الْخَوْفَ لِلْأَمَّلِ أَلَّا يُتَقَبَّلْ أَشَدُّ مِنَ الْعَمَلِ That's fear. They say that the mashayikh in the olden days, يَدْعُونَ اللَّهَ سِتَّةَ أَشْهُرُ They used to cry to Allah six months before Ramadan, يَا اللَّهَ شَوْ أَسْ رَمَضَانِ and after Ramadan six months, they used to cry to Allah, أَيَّتَقَبَّلَهُ مِنْهُمْ يَا اللَّهِ Accept this Ramadan. So we should end all the great amal. Whether it is salat, Allahumma inni zhalamtu nafsi zhulman kathira. Oh la, I committed a great zhulm. Ya la, I've done a great wrong. Salat is a great ibadah. Why are we acknowledging zhulm? Because... The greater the amal, the more the regret, the more the attention and tawadu and humbleness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we cannot do, Allah does, Ya Allah, I'm handing this amal over to you. I did it with flaws, Ya Allah, accept it. Likewise, whether it's Hajj or whether it's Qiyamul Layl or at the end of a majlis, we make tawbah and istighfar. So they say, like how in Salah we have sajda is sahwa, our sajda is sahwa, in Ramadan is istighfar and sadaqah, the sadaqatul fitr. Hazrat Umar bin Abdul Aziz used to write letters to the different towns and cities that in this days say, like Adam alayhi salam said, Rabbana dhalamna anfusana wa illam taghfil lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al-khasirin. Oh Allah, we've oppressed ourselves if you don't forgive us. Then we are in problems, we are at loss. Then say like Nuh alayhi salam said, وَإِلَّا تَغْفِرْ لِي O Allah, if you don't forgive me, وَتَرْحَمْنِي and have mercy on me, أَكُمْ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Ya Allah will be from among the losers. And say like Ibrahim alayhi salam said, وَالَّذِي أَتْمَعُ أَنْ يَغْفِرَ لِي خَطِيئَتِي I have hoped that my Allah will forgive my sins. And say like Musa alayhi salam said, Rabbi inni zalamtu nafsi faghfilli. Ya Allah, I've oppressed myself. Ya Allah, forgive me. Kama qala dhannun. And like how dhannun said, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu mina al-zalimin. In these Mubarak days, Anbiya alayhimu salatu wa salam may tawba. We also need to make tawba and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our amal and grant us tawfiq. Wa akhiru da'awana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.